Hey, what is going on, you guys? I just want to say before we start this tutorial video that uh, this uh, tutorial right here is just the default costume for Batman and I will provide a link down below for all the different costumes that he has in Injustice. So if you want to change it up a little bit, you are free to do so. If you want to uh, color it differently, um, you are free to do all of that. Link down in the description for the different costumes from Injustice 2. So let's get started. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Okay, so you guys, for this tutorial of uh, Batman from Injustice 2, I've got my paper in landscape mode. We're only going to be doing pretty much up to just a little bit below his belt. There is a lot of detail in the costume and it would take a really long time if we did the full body. So let's get started and let's start off by figuring out where we're going to put Batman's head. And I'm gonna draw it right around here. And first thing, of course, I'm going to do is draw a circle. And that's what it looks like. It's slightly closer, very, very slightly. Uh, closer to this side of the page. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do from there is we're going to draw two lines going down and then close that off so that you have a jaw and a chin. Okay. And then from there, so that's Batman's head essentially. From there, we're going to draw the neck. Here's the neck going down this way and slightly going down this way as well. Okay. Right around here, we're going to taper down kind of pretty steep for his shoulders. Right here, not so steep. It goes like this. Okay, he does have armor, so that's what makes it pretty, pretty thick. Okay, now I'm just going to, from here, I'm kind of going to assume, I'm gonna draw a line going straight down. That's going to be the center of the body of the torso kind of. And right here, I'm just going to mark off kind of where the top of the bat, bat symbol is going to be, which is also essentially the the, the clavicle or the, the collarbone. Okay, and then once you have that, we can start kind of placing things. For example, the shoulders right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this oval right there, right here. Um, I'm gonna do it like that first, not quite an oval. Actually, you can make it an oval, but you notice that this oval is wider and this oval is narrower. That's because of the way that the shoulders are placed. Okay, so from the shoulder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line going down from here, draw a line going down this way, and then a line going across right here. Now pay very close attention. That is the chest that we just did, but you wanna make sure that the head and the chest are not disproportional. In other words, you don't want the head too big. You don't want the head too small either. And the way that I'm doing it now, I'm adjusting, I'd rather adjust the head than the torso. I kind of like this shape right here. So I'm going to adjust the head instead. Okay, so there's that. And then let's continue. I'm gonna find a line right here, actually like that. And then we're going to just bring it in like this. It sort of gets narrower as you go down. Okay, and then on this side, it's gonna be a little bit wider. Not this wide actually, let's fix that in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line going down this way and then draw the line for the back like this. Actually, let's fix that. I wanna bring this slightly higher up to there. There you go. Just gonna draw this like that. So you guys should have a torso right there. Okay, and then just the belt line, just the line going straight across right there. I'm gonna do that twice actually. So I'm gonna extend this and then the bottom of the belt line and then just the legs coming out this way and this way. And then I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not going to draw the rest of the legs. And there you go. Now let's figure out where we're going to put the arms. 
I'd like Batman to have starting over here. I want the bicep to kind of go up to here and here. Okay, so just follow that line. And right here, it sort of overlaps in the armpit area. It overlaps over that. And here's the tricep. And it goes like that. Okay, so here's the curve for the bicep. I'm making it darker when I really shouldn't. Make sure that you're doing these lines as lightly as you can. And here it's going to look like this. Okay. And then here I'm going to draw the tricep kind of just peeking out from behind and right here as well. Okay. And a little line like that. So here's the tricep. It's kind of what it looks like right there. And here as well. Let me bring this shoulder down. I actually want the shoulders to align as well. And you want to do that same thing, but don't worry, there will still be some armor up at the top here. So it'll still be pretty, it'll still be pretty broad. There you go. Okay. Let's go over here and I'm going to go wide for the forearm and it gets narrow pretty fast. Okay. Right here is kind of smoother. And then on this side, was wide and it gets narrow. You don't want this to be wider than the width of this. You actually want it to be smaller. So let's do that. Okay. There's the wrist right there. I'm going to draw a line going through and then going down, close that off like that. Kind of just a, a little slight change in angle right there. Okay. I'm going across now I'm going like that. So that's going to be the one fist and the other fist is going to be right here, obviously. So let's go over here. Let's do the same thing again. This side, the outer side is going to be smooth. That's a nice smooth curve right here. Kind of a short curve and change in direction right here. There's a little bit of a corner right there. Okay. And then here's the wrist. You want to make sure that the wrists are approximately the same. And you also want to make sure that your wrist is the same width here and here. You want to keep that consistent. Okay. Once you're here, line going across like this, actually a curve like that. Close it off, down, angle, angled line, and then just finish it off like that. Okay, so there's there's the basic shape for Batman. Now we can get started with uh, filling in the details of the costume. Let's start off with the head. As I've said before with my other Batman tutorials, um, I will, I prefer to draw the Batman with no, um, what do you call it? No pupils. I like his eyes just glowing white. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay. Okay. From here, I'm actually going to draw a line going out this way and this way. Okay. You notice that here is narrow here. It is a little bit wider. And when we do that, we're sort of making a place for the face and differentiating it from the rest of the head. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line going straight down. So now you guys notice by just doing those lines that he's looking off in that direction slightly. Okay. Now right here is probably where I'm going to put his eyes and his nose is going to be right around here. Okay. So let's uh, figure that out. I'm actually going to draw a triangle from the brow all the way down to the, where I want the chin to be. And for this, if we need to expand it, if we need to do more of like, if we need to make it bigger then we have the ability to do that. So let's get started with starting off right here. I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to start down and I'm going to angle up like this. You want that angry bat Batman cowl look. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And then we'll draw the eyes straight, going straight across for me and right here kind of a semi semi oval here and here. So there's the eyes. Make sure that as you're doing it, you want to make sure that they're about the same size, taking into account the fact that his face is slightly tilted, you know? So there you go. I've adjusted it. I'm going to leave it white. Like I said, okay, here, I'm actually going to draw kind of a, a line going from, from the brow going up to the ears. We'll leave that 
uh, leave it like that for now. Let's continue. Okay. The nose is going to be completely covered. So it's going to be a V shape like this. And then you go across here and across right here. And then from there, let's leave it like that for now. I'm going to draw a line right here. It's kind of the, the, the middle of the nose. That's what it looks like. And you want that nose to like, again, like you want it pointing slightly towards the right. Okay. Now little mark at the bottom and then his lips, let's give him that eternal frown that he always has. Okay. Just tiny, tiny upper lip. Lower lip is just going to be a line for me. I'm not going to completely draw the whole thing. Okay. And then beneath that is going to be the chin. So that's what it looks like. You can draw these lines right here. And then for just below that chin line, we're going to draw the, the chin strap and it kind of curves like this. And then once you have that, you connect this to that and here to there. Okay. Now for this, he's got a little bit of a prominent chin because that chin strap is pretty thick. So it looks like that. Okay. So you notice that I've sort of created this chin bulge. That's kind of what it looks like. And then right here, little line, and then line going across and line going down. All right. So let's go back over here to the brow beside the eye. I'm going to draw a line like this and then the line going up. Okay. That's just to make that brow a little more prominent. I'm going to erase some of these guidelines. We don't need most of them anymore. Okay. Same thing over here, except we want this to go up this way. So that goes like that. And this goes up this way. Okay. And then here again, we're actually going to draw a line from here, a tiny little line and then going up like that. So these three are sort of going the same direction towards the, towards the ear or the, yeah, the bat ears and right here, line like this and then line going out again like that. Okay. Right here's a little bit of a cheek. So I'm just going to draw a little cheek like that and then a line going across from there. And then same thing over here, except it's a little line like this and then a line going out like that. And then a slightly a straight line going across for the, for the, the cheekbone, I guess you could call it. Okay. So there's that. Now let's straighten this side. I drew a line going from here, going straight up to this point. And at this point, I'm going to start drawing the, the ears. Let's zoom out on that. Okay. So it looks like that. And then same thing over here and here, I'm just going to close that off and then bring this one going up. Now this is the bat. Well, this is the version with really long ears. I much prefer the short ears version, but, um, but I mean, this is the injustice logo or the injustice version of Batman. I believe it's his basic suit. Okay. From here, you want to make sure that these ears line up. Okay. And once they do, you bring this down and then it curves and then this goes down as well. And it curves like this. Okay. And then the top a little more straight. And this, this line right here, let me erase. I'm going to erase this line that went through this way. And I'm going to take this line and it goes all the way up like that. And then this one kind of goes all the way up from here, up like this. Okay. And this one kind of just does this and then kind of goes slightly up like that. And this right here, it curves the opposite way and then goes up as well. So there you go. There is the bat cowl. You can darken underneath the eyebrows there. It gives him that angrier look, makes it more, makes him more angry looking and more mysterious. Okay. And underneath the eyes, I'm just going to draw some wrinkles and there you go.
but that's not all. We still have the rest of the body to do, so let's keep going. Let's start right here by drawing the bat symbol. I'm going to start right here and here, okay? So here's a tiny, a slight little line like this, and then I'm going to draw two bat ears like that, and then it goes down, okay? Just like that. All right, now from here, this point and this point, you draw two straight little lines from here, going back up to this line right here, across, okay? And then it goes up to here, and then it goes in like that. Same thing over here, goes this way, and right around here, goes in like this. All right, now this goes down, this goes down like that. You notice that it's, it goes slightly down, like as it gets closer to the center. Okay, now let's go over here. Let's do a V shape. Okay, the top of the V, we're gonna draw two lines going this way and this way. Okay, imagine them going across. You want this line and this line to be parallel to each other. Okay, now here goes up and here goes up like this. So there is the bat symbol. Find a point right here, kind of right in the center. And then from there, draw a line going to this point. And then, okay, between this point and this point right here, and this point and this point, find two, uh, find the center. Okay, and then that goes that way. And then from here goes to there, okay? Goes there, and then find this point, and there you go. Now from here, this goes up like that, and then here goes up this way. This is where the cape is going to start billowing from, and then slightly to the right of this, this goes up, and then same thing here, slightly to the right, and it goes up, okay? Right here is a curve, and then right here, let's do the same thing, it's gonna be a curve. Leave this space, that amount of space on that side because that is actually going to look like an armor, okay? So let's go over here. This goes in this much, and then this goes in this much, and then it goes around the neck like this, okay? And then same thing over here. This actually goes this way, and then goes out this way, okay? Okay, let's go over here. Just like that, you actually want to close that. So it goes to this little curve. And then from here, same thing, closes that curve right there. And then here's the cape. The cape kind of goes out like this. We'll leave it alone for now. I'm gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw a line going across right there. And the cape on this side goes over the shoulder like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave a line going like this. And so this is where the cape sort of goes over his shoulders and goes to the back. All right, now let's continue with the chest starting down here. This goes across, but not much, okay? Once you, about that size, once you find that, two lines going down there and there. Okay, now find a point right here and right here. And this is going to be his chest. And then from here to here, here, goes across. Of course, on this side, it, it's narrower, so his chest isn't as big as this one here. Okay, once you reach this point, curve right here. Actually, it just goes straight because it's a different angle. And then rounds off like that right there. And then same thing here from this point going out to there. Okay, now from here, I'm going to draw a line going across all the way to there. Same thing here. You notice that the line is curved and it follows this nice smooth motion. Okay, now from this point, I'm gonna bring this up to this point right here. Okay, same thing over here, from here, going up to this point, just like that. And then from, from the bat, you go down to here. Okay, from the bat, it goes down and then it goes this way. Okay, so that's the chest plate. Underneath that, actually, I'm gonna double up this line. There's a seam right underneath it. So I'm just gonna draw 
line going all the way just up to here. And here is good. Okay. So I'm going to erase this part right here. And I want I want the chest to stick out and then I want this to be flatter going down. Okay. Now that you have that, let's continue right here and draw a curve from here to here, making sure that you're not going further than this point in the chest. So I'm actually inside that. Actually, just here and here is fine. Okay, and then it goes this way, and then this way, and then down, and down. Okay, so you create this, sorry, that was off screen slightly. You create this little house, it kind of looks like a house. Well, to me anyway. All right, so from here now, I draw a little point from here going this way, all the way up to this point right here. And then same thing from here, you actually go off to this point like that. All right, double up on that line. So draw two lines. That's the seam as well. And then same thing when you go down. All right, so now here you've got some uh, abdominal padding. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw this curve right here goes up to there and there. Okay. And then this goes straight up. And then like this. And like this. Okay. Now right here, make a little V at the top. And then go straight down. Like this. And then right here we do we kind of just round it off. Think of it as padding. This goes in this way and this way. Okay panel right here. So here's a rectangle. Another one here. Another one here. Another one here. And two more right here. And right there. Okay, so that's that. Now from this point, there's like this fabric that sort of goes up like this and then goes to the back or to the side, I mean, right there. Okay, and we do the same thing on this side, goes up this way and then goes to the back like that. It's a little bit thicker, so we're gonna add it, add some padding to it. Goes down. Okay, now, let's do the back here. I adjusted my back like that. Okay, I'm gonna draw a seam from here, curves like this to the armpit. And then right here, that looks like that. And then here, it kind of goes up like this. And this goes up like this. Okay, now the belt. I'm gonna find the center first. I'm gonna draw a little line going down. And then right here, from here I'm gonna draw a line like this and like this. You want that belt to be smaller than the, the abdominal padding. So you notice that I have it inside, like this goes down I'm slightly to the right and this goes down I'm slightly to the left and I create this V shape at the bottom but at the top pretty much straight going across okay right here I'm going to draw two lines and from those two lines I go back out to the side like that and like that and then the belt itself is pretty basic just goes across like this I'm going to draw one two, two lines inside. And then one, two, three, I just draw the, like those lines going down like that. And then slightly to the right, think of it like this. Think of it like a, a, a watch band. I just move slightly to the right of those middle, these lines right here. And then I just connect them like that. Okay, and over here, it's the opposite. We go this way. Once you have that, you got you got the um, yeah you got the belt. I'm just going to draw a couple of lines going down, just the sides, and then here's the seam going down the crotch. But that's as far as I'm going to go with that. Okay, let's zoom out. This is getting to be a pretty long tutorial, but that's again that's because of the details. Okay, let's go back to the neck here. From the bat, I'm going to draw. Two lines going 
out this way and this way. Okay. Okay. Once you reach the top, this just goes kind of just goes around the neck. And over here, the neck goes this way. So there you go. And then right here, kind of this shape right here, and this goes up to the side like that. So there's the padding for the neck. Now let's go to the shoulder. I draw a circle right here, kind of where these two come together. You leave this space right here and then I just draw a circle like that over here and then I draw another circle inside and another circle inside. Okay. Okay, from here, from that from that circle, line going straight across over here. And then line going out from here going to the top of the shoulder right there. Now over here, I draw a curve like this going out. And then on this side, a curve this way. And then from here now, you connect to there. So this is, that's a little too big. Let's adjust that. So that's a shoulder pad. And then right here, there's like that little rivet right there. Not a rivet, some sort of, I don't know what you call it. That's just what it looks like. I can't think of a thing to call it. Okay, now inside, line going across, line going up, and then kind of just there and there. There you go. So there's the shoulder. And now that we have that, we can actually figure out the cape. Okay, and then the cape, here's the side of the cape, and then the other side of the cape kind of goes from here, going out this way, and then right around here goes down. Okay, so it goes out this way, just like that. Okay, now wrinkles, some wrinkles at the top as well. And that's what it looks like right there. Right here, let's draw two rectangles there and there. Another one here as well. And the other one, you don't really see it. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's uh, continue with the arm. The left arm here. From here. Okay, imagine this line going down to this point right here. Just This line continues underneath that circle. And then it just sort of goes to the side right here. Making this bicep, this little bicep area, creating that area right there. Okay, and it just goes down to about to here and it goes out like this okay once you have that let's go over here this goes across and then create this padding for the bicep kind of a, a u shape but the top is kind of straight okay and then a line from here going down to there okay now i'm going to draw some diagonal tri or rectangles there and there and here and here Okay, let's um, shape the tricep. Goes like that. And now the arms. Okay, the middle. This goes this way. Across. Like that. And then goes into the into the wrist like this. So it kind of just this way slightly and then back slightly and then going to this point of the wrist. Okay, and then you have this one. This goes straight down. Let's, set, let's just leave it going straight down, slight change, and then also goes into the wrist like that. Okay, right here, a little bit of a elbow padding, kind of just goes like that on both sides. And then right here is just fabric. We're just gonna leave it like that with a seam. Let's draw a seam going down right here. Okay, now right here we're going to draw the, what do you call it, the gauntlet, the little blades in the gauntlet. So let's first section off three through six lines coming out from the wrist or from the forearm, okay? Make sure that they're about the same. Now this one goes this way, like that, and like that. You wanna try to make sure that they're, they look 
similar to each other in size. Okay, now this one right here just connects. It looks like that. Okay, now there's a line going through right here and a line going across here and here. Okay, and the line just going down the middle of the, those blades. And at the bottom of them as well. All right. Now the fist, once you get to here, draw a little knuckle right there. Okay, start right here, go this way, and then in this way, and then down. And then this right here just goes like this. That's the finger, let me zoom in, and then like that. So there's the finger right there, draw a knuckle, one, two, three. Let's leave another one for a fourth one, like that. There you go. And the glove is pretty basic. Um, let's draw that. And then right here. And then from here, kind of just goes in like this. And there's a bit of a square going on right here. There you go. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's do the other arm. And we should be done. This is getting pretty long. Let's go to the shoulder. Okay. Again. A line over here going that way and then a line going this way and then right here folds folds at the top as well now okay this right here goes further out and then you draw that same circle this time around it's slightly angled so it's more of an oval with an oval inside and another oval inside okay from here this goes up like this and then out like that. Okay, and then back here goes out like this and then kind of goes in like that. Okay, let's go back over here. This goes from there to there. Okay, again right here there's that little divot. Right there. And there's another one that you don't really get to see somewhere around there. Okay. From underneath that, you see a little bit of the shoulder coming out. Let's zoom out. There's some padding going on right here. It goes down to there. And then goes this way and then goes down the side like this to here. Okay. Let's go back to the shoulder from here. It just goes in like that. All right. So here's the just a straightish curve at the top, line going down the middle, curve at the bottom like this. Okay, and then the diagonal rectangles, same thing that we have on the other side. They sort of make an X to each other. Okay. Now a seam going down this way, and then right here, kind of the center, goes down slightly and then goes towards the left and goes down and then kind of goes to the right and goes down to here and then once you're here draw a curve going out like that okay finally right here up to this point this goes down changes direction slightly goes down some more and then closes off right here and then goes that same line like that okay now from here same thing Two curves going out like that. There you go. There's actually a another padding going down this way, like that. And then here's just fabric. Okay, and then lastly, let's do the this hand right here. Well, also the gauntlets right here. But let's do this one first. Okay, I draw a knuckle right there. And another one here. This goes in across like that and then goes down right here. Okay, a line going across and a line going down like that. So this is one knuckle or one finger. And then beside it is another knuckle like that. And then I'm not going to bother drawing the rest of them because you don't really get to see the rest of them. And that's that. Now lastly, seam 
goes down to the wrist as well. Okay, and then very, very last, the spikes that come out the gauntlet. Okay. Goes like this. And then the bottom, okay, I drew six. The bottom ones, I draw angles like that. And then here, close them off. You wanna make sure that they're about spaced evenly. And then just draw a line going down the middle. And there you go. I think that's it, you guys. Oh yeah, one more thing, the cape. So let's do the cape. The cape kind of just goes down from here. Imagine it going down the back and it just goes this way. I'm gonna draw another line right here. There you go. And then right here, the cape goes down. Actually it goes down, down the arm, the hand right here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line right here. And another one here. So there you go. And that, you guys, once you're finished, is how you draw the Batman from Injustice 2. And it's been a long tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at Patreon patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron next i have official draw it to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts mugs and mouse pads and finally you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw to.storeenvy.com your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge if you guys did like this tutorial it would help me a great deal also if you liked this video commented below or shared this with your friends in social media and speaking of social media don't forget you guys can find me on facebook instagram google plus and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel again you guys all of these links are down in the description below finally thank you once again for watching and as always stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too i'll see you guys in my next tutorial video